On the 4th of June, I made a video explaining that I was going to electrify my wife's door Super Galaxy and I've been waiting for the kit to arrive and it has finally arrived this morning as you can see. Now I haven't opened it yet, I've saved that so that you can witness me opening the box and see what, what's what and I'll show you all the parts. Rather worryingly, uh, the wife carried the box over to my workshop and she came back and she said it's beeping. And I said what do you mean? She said it keeps beeping. So when I picked it up it did actually beep so something's going on in there so I hope it's okay. Anyway, without further ado, I'll, I'll open the box and I'll show you what's inside. Don't, I haven't opened this at all, this has just arrived and you'll just see it exactly as it is. Oh, this is exciting folks. There we go, we've got the... There we go. Don't forget you're the first to see this. Two bits of foam, we'll take those out of the way. And there's a bag inside, which I'm going to lift out now. Actually, it's open, so I'll take some of the bits out. There's one of the boxes, I presume that's the battery pack. So we'll put that aside for a moment. And then we pull the whole thing out. And this is obviously, <laughs> this is obviously the wheel. Don't forget, I haven't seen this. This is the first time I've opened it. I'll take that piece of foam off there out of the way. There's the wheel lock. Put that out of the way. I'm making a fiddle, fiddle opening it, folks. Uh, if I make as much fuss uh, doing the actual job as doing it, heaven help us. All right, there's the wheel anyway. Okay, there's the wheel lock. Obviously, the tyre isn't pumped up. There we go. I'll show it in more detail in a moment. You've got three or oh, a few pins on that plug. I'll have to pump the tyre up, but that's the wheel part. We'll put that aside for a moment. And we've got another little box here Bluetooth controller, whatever that is. And a box of goodies there. And also in the bottom of the box, I can see some instructions. And there's the installation manual, so to speak. Explaining how to do the job, hopefully. I think I'll get the ways to do it. It looks a bit complicated for the likes of me. Nice bag there. I'll put that back in the box out of the way. So we've got the box open and I've got all the bits and pieces out and now we'll have a look through them and I'll show you what we've got. I can't give you a full explanation of what each item does because I don't know yet and I haven't read the instructions. So I'm just going to go through what you actually get. Well obviously it comes with a wheel with a motor built in but you also get various other items here and I'll just go through those because there are some people who like to know what they're actually getting. So firstly you get the instruction manual, uh, an A4 printed pages covering how to fit it I presume. Well, so I haven't read that so I can't tell too much about it. There's a little box here which says Bluetooth controller. We'll just open that and have a look. And there's a, a USB lead there, look. Well, it looks like a USB. There's a USB plug on there. And, and a little fitting on the end there, a mini USB. So that's one thing. And here's the actual little controller. It's in a posh little box. It's almost like a jewelry item or a sort of thing. And this is the thing that fits around your handlebars, look. And this is a little, uh, obviously a little display with the switch buttons on. We'll go into this later when I've, I've learned how to use it. But that's a little control panel you have on the handlebars. And these buttons presumably select the actual amount of assistance you require. So that's that little thing. Well, as I say, I will go into more detail later when I've read the instructions. I'll just put that out of the way. What we'll do next, we'll open this one. This is obviously the battery. Oh, it's beeping again, folks. Something's happening. Right, there's the battery and that's the bottom end, so if I do that. So there's the battery unit lock. I'll just lay it down so you can see. Again, we'll go into detail that later when I've uh, looked at the rest of it. And then we've got an exciting little box here to open, folks. I wonder what's in here. What's this? Horizontal extension frame for bicycle. There's a little unit there. I don't know what that is to extend it off the handlebars, I presume. But I won't know until I read the instructions. There's a little... <laughs> Little throttle control there, look, accelerator trigger, trigger, I presume that's what it is. Another little box here, I wonder what's in here. Some clips and an Allen key. And then you've got a little bracket, look, I don't know what these are for because I say I haven't read it. It looks like something, I imagine that's to hold your phone or something. 
There's a little leak in it. Yeah, phone holder. That's a phone holder. I don't think she'll be using that. Mrs. Scrimber doesn't have a mobile phone. And she doesn't know how to use a mobile phone either. I'll put that down for now. What else have we got? There's obviously a, a normal uh, figure of eight plug there for the charging unit. Oh, you've got two ignition keys. That's good. I started up, I suppose. There's two ignition keys in there to start it up. Get the motor running, so to speak. Actually, I think they're probably to take the battery unit on. It locks onto the bike, and that's what they're for, to unlock it. It's not really an ignition key. Uh, another little box here. Some more goodies. Oh, this is exciting, and it's just like Christmas. Oh, no, that's not very exciting. That's just the power unit for charging the battery lock. Obviously, you leave that at home. You won't want to carry that around with you. That's for charging up at home. So we'll put that out of the way. I've got a few more bits and pieces. There's some uh, <laughs> little tool kit there, look. I'll open it up so you can see properly. I know some people like to see what, what they're actually getting when they buy these things. This is, this is what you might call an unboxing video. It's not a thing I do normally, but some people like to see it. They've got some cable ties, look. And there's, uh, oh look, nice set of Allen keys. They'll be useful. I shouldn't think they're very strong. And um, some washers, a spanner, and a Torx key there. I don't think I'll be needing too much of this. I think a lot of this is designed for bikes with, a, with disc brakes. Because in the bottom of the box, look, it actually comes with a, a disc for the disc brakes. So if you've got a bike with disc brakes, you obviously fit a new disc on, and there's the screws and that. So that's what you've got with that, basically. So... I think that is about it, I'm afraid. Uh, that's what's in the box. Uh, all we've got to do now is work, work out how to put it all together again, haven't we? <laughs> I don't think we need the mobile phone holder. The acceleration trigger looks quite exciting. I don't know whether Mrs. Scrimp would dare to use it, mind. She's a bit cautious on these things. Anyway, what I'm going to do now... Um, I'm going to, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the wheel, just show you the wheel, because we haven't gone through that, have we? Right, here's the wheel. Already fitted with a tyre in inner tube. It's a, a Kenda brand tyre. It's quite a posh wheel. It won't match the Doors Galaxy, but I don't think my wife will care about that too much. If it gets her up the hill, she won't care what it looks like. This is the motor unit here, and the wires that come off it. Obviously, I can't tell you too much about it, because uh, I haven't actually read the instructions, as I mentioned. And then the nut on the other side for fitting in the frame. Obviously it's not going to be quick. Oh, it won't be quick release for obvious reasons. And uh, it's quite a well built wheel. It looks alright. It's got a, a Schrader valve on it, which is odd. Because uh, we always use Presta. Which makes it more awkward for pumping up if you get a puncher outside. Because my pump's only Presta, I think. So that's strange that it hasn't got a Presta valve on it. But... I don't suppose you have any choice, as long as we don't get a puncher. We'll always have to carry another little pump, won't we, to pump it up. But uh, it's not too bad. Well, I think that's about all for now. Um, I've shown you all the bits. I can't, I'm sorry I can't explain anything much about it because I haven't read the instructions. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, I'll end this video here. We've just done the preliminaries. I've talked about it and showed you what we've got. And then I'll make a second video. Uh, with me fitting it on the bike because I think it's a separate issue and I need time to read a little bit just to make sure I know what I'm doing. I, d I always like to read the instructions first and I notice that spoke's bent by the way, not that it matters but um, there is a, a little bend in that spoke look. I don't think it will affect it, it's got bent probably where something's gone into it in transit. Anyway, so as I say, what I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll stop the video now and then when I start to fit it onto the bike, I'll come back again and I'll show you what, how to fit it on, hopefully. Let's hope it works. So, bye for now. Bye. <laughs>